Morning, ladies and gentlemen, birthday warrior here. Trusting that you are doing well, my sister, my brother. Trusting that you are doing well. So happy preparation day. Happy preparation day. So may I ask you, did you take time out to study? Remember, we must, must study the word. And we know it is so late on planet Earth. And the solution is Jesus Christ and his state. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Right now, Father God, I ask you that you will decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased, Father God. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister, brother, scripture reading is coming from Exodus chapter 25, verses 8. Exodus 25, verses 8. And it reads, And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell amongst them. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. Okay, so let's get to it. It's uh, We're doing part one. Let them make me a sanctuary. During his stay in the mount, Moses received direction for the building of the sanctuary in which the divine presence would be especially manifested. Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them was the command of God. And if you have the book, uh, Patriarch and Prophet is on page 313. The building tabernacle was divided into two apartment by a rich and beautiful curtain, a veil suspended from golden plate pillared, and in similar veil closed the entrance of the first apartment. These, like the inner covering, which formed the ceiling, were of the most glorious colors, blue, purple, and scarlet, beautifully arranged, while inwoven in thread of gold and silver, were cherubim in, in, let me go back, let me go back. These, these, like the inner covering, which formed the ceiling, were of the most glorious colors, blue, purple, scarlet, beautiful arranged, while inwoven with thread of gold and silver, were cherubim to present the angelic host who were connected with the work of the heavenly sanctuary and who are ministering spirit to the people of God on earth. And if you have the book, Patriarch and Prophet is on page 347. It says, after the building of the tabernacle was completed, Moses examined all the work and compared it with the pattern and directions he had received of God. And he saw that every part of it agreed with the pattern, and he blessed the people. God gave a pattern of the ark to Moses with special directions of how to make it. The ark was made to contain the tables of stone on which God engraved with his own finger the Ten Commandments. It was in the form like a chest and was overlaid with inlaid with gold, with pure gold, and its ornaments with crown of gold around about the top. The cover of the of the sacred chest where the mercy seat made of solid gold. On each end of the mercy seat was fixed a sherim of pure, solid gold. Their faces were turned towards each other, and they look reverently downward towards the mercy seat, which repre which represents all the heavenly angels looking with interest and reverence to the law of God deposited in the ark in the heavenly sanctuary. These cherubims had wings. One wings of each angel was stretched forth on high, while the other wings of each angel covered their forms. The ark of the earthly sanctuary was a pattern of the true 
ark in heaven. There besides the heavenly ark stand living angels at each end of the ark, each with one wings overshadowing the mercy seat and stretching forth on high, while the other wings are folded over their form in token of reverence and humility. And then if you have the book, The Spirit of Prophecy is volume 1, pages 2, 7 to 2. Above the mercy seat was the cherub, the manifestation of divine presence. And from between the cherubim, God made known his will. Divine message were sometimes communicated to the high priest by the voice from the cloud. And then if you have the book, um, Patriarch and Prophet, is uh, page um, 349. It says, above the seat with the Shekinah, the manifestation of divine presence, and from between the cherubim, God made known his will. Divine messages were sometimes communicated to the high priests by a voice from the cloud. Patriarch and Prophet, pages 349. So that concludes part one of Let Them Make Me a Sanctuary. And so I have some uh, diagram. And I, I got these many years ago um, from Pastor um, Michael Johnson. I had received I had um, received some information from him, and so I just wanted to have a, a clear understanding of the uh, or a clear picture of the um, the sanctuary back in that time. So if you look at it, I don't know if you guys could see, but if you look at it, can you guys see? Maybe I should show you this one first. Let me see. Let me see. Let me show you this one first. So if you look at here, and you sell you here, so this is where you enter, right? And then this is where you go into. And so you see the first compartment. This is the holy. This is the holy. And then this is the most holy. And that's where you have the Ark of the Covenant. And within the Ark of the Covenant, covenant you had the law. You have the rod. And then you have the manna. Can you guys see that? You guys see that? Okay. But then if you look at this one, and then, um, let me, I'm not sure which way I should go, uh, because it also stayed here on this one here. So you have the, let me see. I'm not, I, don't, I hope I'm not confusing you. You see you have the earthly, court, you got the courtyard, you have the altar of sacrifice, you have the lever, then you have the uh, the table of showbread. You have the seven candlestick. You have the uh, the altar of incense. And then you see here it says uh, confession, forgiveness, and then sin remove. And then we also so you have the holy holy place. And then here you have the most holy place. And this is where this is only the place that the high priest goes into. You guys see that? Does that make clear? But then if you look at this, you see, can you see the curtains, the, the curtains? So if you look at it, see that, see the man there with the animal there, the sacrifice, and then you see uh, the lever, and then you got the, the, the holy place here, and then you see the curtain here that divided. This is the most holy place. Can you guys see that? And we know as believers that we know that Jesus is our high priest right now so we do not we do not no longer do sacrifice because Jesus was our ultimate sacrifice so now we know that he is in the most holy place interceding on our behalf but I wanted to show you um, about the let me show you this part with the angel with the ark, you see that? I was trying to get another one, but I couldn't find one. You see that? So that's the ark, and see the the, the cherubim. So see the ark. So I give you a, a um, kind of a how do you say a clear picture of what it is. That some people uh, are vi are visible, uh, are visual people, and like myself, I like to see pictures, and the pictures tells a thousand words. Can you can you see that? Okay, so we know that we no longer sacrifice animals because Jesus was our ultimate sacrifice. So that concludes part 
one of uh, let them make me a sanctuary okay so that is um says a moses tabernacle and this is coming from you see that exodus 25 you can read the story there in exodus 25 about the uh let them make me a sanctuary there i hope that explains okay so let me go into my devotion hold on let me drink some water I mean, I, I've been on the, um, been studying a whole lot of different books that I've shared so far, so many books, but I have never been so in under so much attack until I picked up this book, The Truth About Angels. Wow. The Truth About Angels. So there has to be something in here that he does not want you to know. So and when then here it says there are two spirits in the world. There's two spirits in the world, right? Remember, it says, remember the word that I say unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. And this is coming from John 15 verses 20. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I ask you, Father God, to continue to take full control. I thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. It's state here. If he who was pure, holy, and undefiled, who did good and only good in our world, was treated as a base criminal and condemned to death without a vestige of evidence against him, that and say, what can his disciples expect but similar treatment? However faultless may be their life and blameless their character. Human enactments, law manufactured by satanic agencies under a plea of goodness and restriction of evil will be exalted. While God, while God holy enactments are despised and trampled underfoot. It is the apostate from the truth that works in the children of disobedience to silence the voice of those who are calling them to, ob to obedience and provoke the loyal to become disloyal as Cain tried to provoke Abel. A, demonic, a demonical spirit, meaning a demon spirit, is taking possession of men in our world. Demons' intelligence would rent and destroy man's form in the divine similitude because man cannot control the conscience of his brothers and make him disloyal to God's holy law because he himself is unrighteous like Cain who was disobedient. The world is presented in the apostate churches who are trampled upon the word of God transgressing his holy law they know not what spirit they are of nor the end of the dark tunnel through which they are passing they are hastening towards deceived deluded blind to the first and second death the vast tide of human will and human passion is leading to things they did not dream of when they discarded the law of Jehovah for the inventions of man. They have exalted phantoms and eternal realities are not to them. But he who comes to our world to seek and to save that which was lost had pledged his own life that men might have a second probation. He has pity and compassion and love that are without a peril. And he has made every provision in behalf of men that none need perish. The divine Son of God came into our world, its light and life, to encompass the world. Let me go back. Let me go back. Father God, I ask you, Father God, to continue to take full control. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It's state here. The divine Son of God came into our world. It's light and life 
to encompass meaning to surround the whole world and to attract and unite to himself every human being who is under Satan's um, disciples. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back here. I'm losing my place. Hold on. Okay. It said, The divine Son of God came into our world. It's light and life to encompass means around the whole world and to attract and unite to himself every human being who is under Satan's discipline and rule. He invites them, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heaven laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. And this is coming from uh, Matthew 11, verses 28 and 29. Thus he unites with himself by a new inspiration of grace all who will come unto him. He puts upon them his seal, his signs of obedience and loyalty to his holy Sabbath. Let me repeat that. He put upon himself his seal, his sign of obedience and loyalty to his holy Sabbath. So that concludes my topic, my sister and brother. Two spirit in the world. So we all have to examine ourselves and see which spirit are we following? Which spirit are we following? And on here she has condemned by Jews. Condemned by the Jews. So two spirit in the world. So we have to examine ourselves. Which spirit are we following? Which spirit are we following? So here is my um, closing hymn. I had a bigger um, picture over there. But it's a, it's a Spanish version. But, I mean, you will see. Maybe I should show it to you. Hold on a second. Let me show that to you. Hold on. Let me show that to you. I like this one because it's much clearer. I don't know if you guys can all see it, though. You see all this? So you see all the encampment? All the different tribes you see they got Dan tribe Asher tribe you have Benjamin tribe you have all the different tribes here see you guys see that all the different tribes and then in the middle here you have the the um, the sanctuary see the, the, the compartment see the sanctuary this is where they um, they make the sacrifice can you guys see that let me see that can you guys see that yeah, I do it like this. Can you guys see that? It's a bigger picture. Can you guys see that? Okay, so this is a bigger one. But you see, it has more. You see all the different camp around the sanctuary. So this is a beautiful one. I, I don't remember where I put the... Because it says here, Exodus. See that? See Exodus at the top here. Exodus 25. I don't know if I can see that. Exodus 25. Verses eight, eight and eight and nine. See that? Maybe if I go all the way back here, you guys can see better. See? Yeah, but so so these will be the two, the two smaller version then, the smaller version of what it looks like. All right. See that? So. I don't know what I did with the English one. I know I had an English one, but I'm not sure where that is. Okay, so it says here, the hymn, Working, O Christ, with Thee. Working, O Christ, with Thee. Working with Thee. Unworthy, sinful, weak, Thou we may be. Our all to Thee we give. For Thee alone we live, and by Thy grace achieve. Working with Thee. Alone the city wastes, working with thee, our eager footstep haste, like thee to be. 
the poor we gather in, the outcasts raised from sin, and labor souls to win, working with thee. Savior, we weary not, working with thee. As hard yeah, as hard as thy O lot can never be. Our joy and comfort this thy grace sufficient is. This changed toil to blist working with thee. Here's the last verse. So let us labor on working with thee till earth to thee is one. From sin set free till men from shore to shore receive thee and adore. And join us evermore working with thee. Let me repeat the last verse. So let us labor on working with thee till earth to thee is one. From sin set free till men from shore to shore receive thee and adore. And join us evermore, working with thee. Working, O Christ, with thee. Mm, isn't that beautiful? Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that you did not leave me here by myself. Father God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, thank you. I thank you for my sister, my brother that stopped by here today, Father God. You know our individual need, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, that you are God, that you sit high, you look low, and you have already answered and dispatched angels to answer our individual need, Father God. So, Father God, I ask you if we have said anything that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, we ask you, Father God, that you forgive us. And wash us, Father God, and make us whiter than snow. And once you've done that, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to fill these empty vessels, Father God, with the love, with the patience, with the joy, with the power, with the strength to continue to serve thee, Father God. We love you, Father God, and we thank you, Father God, for sending Jesus Christ on Calvary's cross to die for our sins, Father God. We forever give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. In Jesus' name I have prayed, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so um, if you, um, let me see, let me remember, let me remember. Okay, so for those of you that are on Facebook, you could hit the like button, you could hit, uh, make a comment, you could hit the share button, and then you can follow me over YouTube under Verdell Warrior. While you're there, hit the um, subscribe button, hit the bell notification, or whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, you could give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And I thank you, my sister and brother, for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to richly bless you and your family. And so with that, um, may I have a hug? May I have a hug? See, may I have a hug? So here we go. One, two, three. Thank you so much, my sister and brother, for that hug. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, love you, love you. Appreciate you. And so happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath wherever you know the sabbath already in some other places so happy sabbath happy sabbath and um remember the sabbath is friday sundown to saturday sundown it's 24 hour cycle it's always been 24 hour cycle uh god started the day is from sunset to sunset sunset to sunset but i guess man changed it for midnight no 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 no, no. it's always been from sunset to sunset makes one day okay so let us continue to remain faithful, my sister, my brother. So get ready, get ready. Jesus is coming soon. Love you and appreciate you. Until, to, until and then, have a super awesome Sabbath. Have a super awesome weekend. And we shall talk again on Monday. Take care, my sister, my brother.